Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, passed out there, man. Oh, just trying to cool my laptop. I mean, I got a laptop cooler sitting underneath here and everything. Uh, and it does kind of keep it cool. It's nice. And I've done a review on it before. Uh, Targus makes this, and it's got a couple fans beneath it. And the problem is, is that it's kind of cheap plastic. And I don't know. Color me crazy, but I, I think I'm doing okay here in my home office. And I needed to upgrade at least the look of my laptop cooler. So, I went out to the web, did some research, and then kind of forgot about it. And then, like, three people sent me a link to this. Well, of course, I'm going to actually pick up the unit. It's not a link. It was a link to the unit, and I purchased the unit, and the unit arrived tonight. It's this. Can you see it? It's a Zalman ZM NC1000, which purports to have a large vent. And they say 679 high-capacity vent holes evenly distribute the flow of air. Premium material, aluminum treated. Oh, it's aluminum, or as they say overseas, aluminium. Sleek design, that's what I'm looking for. Dual centrifugal fans, or centrifugal? Centrifugal. Centri centrifugal, I think is what we'll go with. That, that's the way we say it in my house. Centrifugal. <laughs> yeah, it's got a rubber grip strip too. So if you need to grip rubber, just pull out your ZMNC 1000 and you're off to the races. They even have, you're going to love this, they've got charts on the back which say the, the, that uh, the temperature uh, will actually decrease in the unit that you place on it so long as the unit is not, you know, biological but actually mechanical. So we're going to now unbox the laptop cooler. Of course, I really need to run up the heat in this thing. I've only got it at 124. Hang on, I know what I can do. I'm gonna launch a, let's launch a, some uh, video intensive app. Then we'll launch a chat app. I mean, something that's really gonna get the CPU cooking. You know, so you can just like fry an egg on it or, you know, pop popcorn. Oh, by the way, you've seen that popping popcorn with a mobile device? So fake. I knew it was fake. All right, you know what I'm almost tempted to do? I'm surprised I haven't even thought about this before, but we're like totally gonna white trash it here. Uh, I'm just gonna use styrofoam blocks and to uh, cool. Just, there we go. Kind of works, doesn't it? Like seriously, like, put it up there. Come here, little guy. There we go. Oh, then I get like all that crap all over the place. But it does look good. I mean, like cinder blocks, kind of. Only they're like you know styrofoam. What else are you gonna do with styrofoam? You can't eat it anymore. Not since the FTC or FTC, the FCC. No, the FDA. Uh, disapproved. I couldn't remember which acronym. Frick, we got too many of them. All right, let's put it over here. Wicket, go ahead and chew on that. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Hospital's right down the street. Open 24 hours a day, too. So, here we go. Well, it feels cool to the touch. Oh, I got the black one. Look at that. The fans aren't as big. It does have USB ports, an on-off switch. And is that a, it looks like a fan throttle control, so I can decide to how fast or the fans will rotate or how slow. Uh, and so it must be powered by USB or something because I don't see any AC adapter, which I like. You know what I like? Not a lot of branding on it. It is black, so it will match quite well. Uh, the only branding I see here is on the back, Zalman. Uh, and I'm fine with that there. It's, it's pretty unobtrusive. So we'll set it down. Uh, indeed, indeed. This is looking nice. Oh, and then they put notebook cooler there on the front so I can just put this on top of this. Now it's, it's slanted. There we go. I got styrofoam all over the place here. Clean right up nicely. Isn't that like nails on a chalkboard to some of you? Not me. So I'll keep doing. You know what bugs me though is like the nail file. It just, can't, just sends me right up the wall. That not so much. So uh, everything seems fine. Uh, indeed. It's, well, I haven't plugged it in yet. I know. Just give me a second. Jeez, some dogs are just too impatient. Gotta find a USB cable here. I actually, I'm gonna have to like scout my USB kit because I think I need a different kind of USB cable than I than I have. 
right offhand to, to plug it in. Don't really need to read the instruction manual, but this is what's nice, is it's tilted forward, so it's more, you know, ergonomical, or ergonomically correct, uh, and so it, it feels natural in that way. Uh, it looks good even without my laptop sitting there, and wow, the it it's kind of already transferred some of the, uh, you know, its coolness, uh, its coldosity, uh, to the left, I don't know what, I'm just making up words as I go along here. Uh, but the nice thing is too, though, even though it's slanted, it's gripped really, really well, so it's not sliding around. I really do like that. Um, and I also like the fact that uh, it looks clean, or it certainly looks cleaner than uh, cheap plastic. So uh, this laptop, this notebook computer, is actually sitting on top of rubber strips that are on top of uh, the cooler. I really like it. Uh, it's, I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I can tell you what, looks are everything uh, for me as far as uh, you know, having some kind of cooler around, and this certainly has the look uh, and uh, is now going to be a regular part of my desk. So now, if you ask me, Chris, why didn't, you don't ask it right now. Some dogs are just impatient. I don't know. Just I was going to get there. If you ask me later... What I use to cool my notebook, now you know. It is the, I gotta look down at the box here, the Ultra Quiet, can you hear it? I can't. The Ultra Quiet Notebook Cooler with dual centrifugal fans. My email address is chris at perilla.com. Maybe you know a better way, a nicer way, a cleaner way to cool your laptop or anything really. Uh, you just, yeah, feel free to pass it along. You know, I'm, I'll take a look. Love to take a look. Maybe you make one. I mean, not your own. I'm not into the whole DIY thing. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, trying to run a classy outfit here, uh, which I realize is kind of ironic considering I'm not really wearing a very classy outfit. It's a hoodie with the Gnome Dex 8.0, uh, and I think it's going to become the Gnome Dex phrase. That's the conference that my wife Ponzi and I put on every year. Uh, human circuitry, and I think we're going to roll with that theme going forward. It's kind of like the juxtaposition, the crossroads between humans and technology. See, I can say juxtaposition. I know what that means. I get a little tripped up on the whole fuggle thing. Hey, if you want to talk hardware, software, internet services, whatever, you can stop by and say hello to all the geeks that are sitting in the chat room right now. There are hundreds of them because we're giving away some Mac software a little later tonight. I don't know what that was. I was I've got a cold sore. I don't know. I'm just saying it. it's the whole Dr. Evil thing. Was it? How's it? I got to watch the movie. It's something pinky somewhere. Is that it? Okay. That's it? I don't know. I, I need the ring, too. I got that one. Ah! But that wasn't my ring. That was a knuckle. And so, uh, before I head off to the emergency room, let me tell you that when I come back, I'll be streaming live video, because the live videos have... I'm telling them now! Fine, you finish it. If you want to stop by the chat room, you're more than welcome to... It's going on 24 hours a day. So is the video. One place. Typically talking tech. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.